yes everyone hope you're all well welcome back to another video hope you're all doing amazing you already know what this video is about from the title i've got my hands on a beautiful 2020 m8 50i a lot of people saw the comments were thinking it's an m8 but it's just one spec down however it is a cabriolet it's a 70 plate but before we get into that i need you guys before you see the car i need you guys to like this video please subscribe to the channel let's get this video to 2000 likes if we can that'll be absolutely amazing but it is a beautiful car are you not ready for it oh and also follow me up on instagram guys at silverback underscore aj without further ado let's get straight into the video and let's show you this beautiful beast let's go <laughs> sound check one thing guys which i'm a bit annoyed about is the 70 place they sorted out that opf um, filter obviously it still has an opf however the car pops and crackles watch Guys, let me out, please. <sighs> What's the gain saying in here? Your boy's getting lean. Oh, it's not bad. So we're here. Listen to that. I love that pop and bang. So initial thoughts. Well, it's, it's not initial thoughts, actually, because I've driven this car for a few days, but secondary thoughts, I should say, on how this car is. I think it drives amazing. I hope you guys can hear me by the way because I know when the, when the when I'm in the motorway you guys are not going to hear me very well and if it rains I'm going to be pissed but what one thing I want to do right now yeah I want to show you guys how much the technology is improved nowadays with uh with drop top so look let's count how many seconds it takes for this to uh close I think it's about eight okay three two one go let's see it's coming more than eight <laughs> done no nope. done there you go that was about 12 seconds 15 seconds all right anyways don't know why there's traffic right now one thing i don't like is every time you put your foot down the seat belt just locks you in and i have to like move around there you go it's loosened up even the slightest bit Right guys, how does this car drive? I honestly think it drives amazing. The car weighs 2.2 tons. It's actually 2,190 kilos when I last checked on the internet. And um, that's a lot of weight for, for the car. It is a very long car. Um, it, uh, it shifts crazy fast. So let's just get onto the dual carriageway somewhere in Mexico. That's so I find that everyone always says that. Man, there's traffic everywhere. Stressing me out. Well, let's ruin a convertible and just drive like this with the gains out. Love that crackle. 
forgot to mention this car has um, about 650 or 700 newton meters so when you're driving it, it actually doesn't feel that much slower than the m5 but i'm pretty sure if they were side by side an m5 comp in this or an m8 comp in this that it would be quite a significant difference i'm at the lights so i'm gonna do a little launch traction off oh don't have time go puts a smile on your face you know it's doing a good job in terms of performance that's for sure so in terms of how the car drives the suspension is definitely a lot softer and um, you know it's got more damping than the M5 100% um, what else but however don't it does not make the car not be able to handle the handling is great very responsive when you put it in sports plus mode yeah as you can see very responsive and it definitely has a lot of punch to it it's weird when I, when I first picked up the car I felt like it's literally as fast as the M5 and then um, I went for a little run with one of my friends and um, the car that the M5 was smoke he actually sort of kept up I still this, this car still was performing better but he caught up <laughs> so yeah all right I'm gonna put some space in front of me guys yeah and then I'm gonna see how fast I can get to 70 camera on the floor and I'm gonna do some drive light shots for you lot flipping off I, have to, I, had, I had no one extra with me today the wife is away as you lot know she's in Germany so man's riding in solo right now all right we're here at the twisty road guys let's do this I'm gonna keep the traction on though because we're not Michael Schumacher out here Road time. Let's see what this car can do. Damn, it picks up speed quick, man. Okay, see how it corners. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's feels like it's got like proper individual. You know, like the Range Rovers have that adaptive suspension. with these 
ZF gearboxes, guys, the ratios are small, so it's just constantly on the power band, it's just pulling. I want to try and do a launch control here, yeah? Wait, let me turn off the traction fully. Boom, traction's fully off. Sports plus mode. Let me just get on a little straight. All right, let's do a little launch here, guys. Okay, let me see. Foot down, pedal down. Oi. Yes, that is off. One more time with the roof up. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Roof down. I'm mean up. Let's go. I think you can probably hear the car engine as well more. Flipping hell. Do you know one thing, guys, that I love about this gearbox? It's that gear three to gear four. If you've ever owned one of these cars or you've driven one, that ratio just keeps it on the power band like crazy. Look how mad that is, man. When I get to that ratio again, yeah, you guys will see what I'm talking about. This one, Oof, look at that, it just shifts and it stays on the power band. Are you mad? Absolute monster of a car, man. Oy, see that? If that was a rear wheel car or a front wheel drive, there, if it was front wheel drive, I would have understood. If it was rear wheel, I'd have oversteered. But look, four wheel drive, you can actually stay on the accelerator a little bit and get around the bend. It's mad. Okay. Just catch up to traffic like nothing. Mate, <laughs> mate, you guys tell me what you think. Can you, I don't know if it, it relays across or it comes across as how, how this car's performing, performing right now, but honestly, like if you were to look at the generations before this, like for example, uh, a 650 or, or whatever, Obviously, the 850 was really old. That was like a 90 in the late 90s and before. But these, the new 850s, 850i, this car is, is like, for example, this car will smoke an M3 and an M4, 100%. And obviously, I'm talking about the, is it the F80, the older shape. But the new ones have just come out, have slightly less power than this. But obviously, they're a lot lighter. But it would be interesting to see how that would perform against that. I think this would keep up for sure. I would. I still think the M3 and M4 would just pull away because it's a lot lighter, even though this has more power and torque. But um, yeah, I would not like count this car out. And especially on the higher end of the um, speeds, it's got a big engine, you know what I mean? Big displacement always wins when it comes to top speed as well. So uh, yeah, it's all mad, it's all mad. You know what's mad, guys? I was just looking at the... I was looking at the miles per gallon, the average right now is dropped to 5.7. Flipping hell. That's a joke. How is it that low? That must be wrong. It can't be 5.7 yet. I don't know. Comment if you think that's wrong. You guys are gonna believe what I've done. I just placed my camera on that Audi TT behind me. Hopefully the owner doesn't come that quick. Let's go.
guys. Next one, we're gonna do. You're gonna see this in time with the thing. Going fast. Brake check. Let's see what we can do. Brake it hard. Oh my days. That is some good brakes. I even brake fully. I wanna do that again. Let me go get my camera. Flipping out. For YouTube, huh? For YouTube. Oh man. Private roads. Private roads, of course. Oh, it is. Imagine all that in it and, and my camera wasn't focusing, you'd be pissed. Alright guys, all in all. I feel like the car is doing amazing man. Solid car. Can't complain about it at all, man. You see the drives, you see how it drives. Shifts, lightning shifts as well. You know what, let me try it in manual mode. Show you guys manual mode. Right, let's do this. Manual mode run, go. Oh yeah, round the bend. Okay, go. Yeah, lightning fast. Oh yeah, did you hear that, guys? Oof, lightning fast. Man, that is instant. now guys let me get home and I'll do I'll wrap up some last little bits on the car yeah I hope you guys have watched it till this till this far anyway all right in a bit oh yeah one last thing that I like doing guys when you with a convertible is you can move it up to like 20 miles per hour and you can drop the top I don't know why I kind of think that's cool so just cruising don't ever do it on a motorway it will actually won't even let you and then you're just cruising and you drop the top boom and then the windows come up as well ah people back home that was a fun drive really enjoyed it i think the car's amazing would i take it over an m5 competition this exact car the answer is no but i think if you're more of a flashy guy i would definitely say this car is for you so like if you want more people to look at you this car is definitely for you. Some people love that stuff in it, do you know what I mean? But uh, for me, I definitely would stick with the M5 competition, definitely, because I'm more of a performance guy. And regardless, the M5, like, this is the this is the difference. An M5, in my opinion, looks boss. This looks like like someone who'd want, like, like more, um, what's the word? Who's more stylish, yeah. Who's more sleek. So this looks, yeah, the M8, M850 and the M8 look more sleek and more supercar-ish. But the M5 looks more beefy and boss. That's just my opinion anyway. And also, to give you guys a quick update on my own car situation, um, kind of a bit annoying, but everyone is just using this coronavirus card right now, like a get out of jail card. But it's been sitting in BMW for two weeks and they still haven't even stripped the car down. So, like, I can't complain. Alhamdulillah, like, I've got this car here, which is worth more than my car by a few grand. So, I can't complain. But, you know, I just kind of want everything to be sorted out so I can just get my own car back and just... You know, it's no one wants to keep driving other people's cars or whatever, insurance cars and stuff and not and not drive their own their own vehicle, do you know what I mean? Yeah, guys, there's not much more to say about this car. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here. 
please guys like this video subscribe to the channel i really hope this video gets a lot of views you know it's quite a it's quite a nice car you don't really see them around to be fair you don't even see eight series eight series cars around much often so an eight m850i is pretty rare and then an m8 and an m8 competition that's cabriolet is fully rare funny thing is i saw one the other day going past my area which was a bit mad um, but yeah guys like this video subscribe to the channel follow me up on instagram if you're not already following guys and i will catch you in the next video take care and peace